right guys, welcome back. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. And we're gonna be feeding off some of the smaller snakes, uh, some frozen thawed. And I do get the question if I thaw the rats out. I don't know if they look frozen still, but I've had multiple people say, do I even thaw them out? And uh, yep, they are nice and squishy and they are warm, room temperature. Um, Sometimes I, I do rinse them under water um, and leave them in a water bowl till they thaw out. But if I have time, uh, I'll leave them in the snake room just because it's like 85 degrees in here and then they can thaw out within just a couple of hours. And then they sit at room temperature, which seems to be working very well. So I don't feed them frozen. I don't know why, why people think I would feed <laughs> my snakes a rat straight out of the freezer, but yep, they are frozen thawed. So we have quite a few to uh, to feed, and we're gonna start off with the king snake, black Mexican king snake, and then just go around the room to the ARS rack, and then I want to have to uh, cut out of here and then recut in and move these snakes to get to the anaconda, and we're gonna feed the Burmese. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully everybody is hungry. We're dealing with uh, boas, so everybody should have no problems eating, hopefully. So we're still feeding the Black Mexican King uh, day old quail, and I just had these left over uh, from the anaconda. I was trying to get her to eat these and then kind of train a uh, a rat behind it but the anaconda just randomly wanted to eat a rat out of nowhere which was perfectly fine so I had a whole bag of these and then since this is what she's been eating for the last couple uh, of months uh, I'm not gonna let any food go to waste for some reason she doesn't really seem that interested but if I do leave it in here she will most likely eat it so we'll just leave it in there and hope for the best. So I am still feeding the VPI jungle smaller mice, which um, I'm told and with, which has been working out for me, uh, keep them for just about a year on mice. And then after the year, uh, depending on the size, we can swap them to rats or rat pups I've noticed that they do have very sensitive stomachs and giving them a rat too soon uh, they regurgitate and I've, I've had experience with that and felt horrible but switching them back on to mice um, I did not have any issues after that so it was actually the moon glow she was maybe six months old, gave her a rat pup, and she puked it up just a couple days later, gave her two to three weeks off, and then I fed her um, a mouse, and I have not had any issues since. So she is a year old now, but I just still feel more comfortable feeding her a, a larger mouse as of right now. Uh, once she gets a little bit bigger, I will give her uh, rats without any issues, hopefully. And this girl is two years old. Uh, I switched it up between large mice and um, rat pups with her. She sheds consistently all of the time. She's an amazing eater but it's just taking her forever to grow, which is, which is, which can be normal. I mean, all boas and all snakes do have different growths. Um, but as long as she's eating, she's shedding, she seems to be healthy. For me, that's really all that matters. And then we'll feed this lady right here, the VPI Aztec. So give her a mouse as well. There we go. The IMG Motley Hypo Jungle. 
we'll give this one a fairly larger sized meal, a bigger mouse. So this one, she could definitely be on, she could definitely be on wrap ups, which is probably what I should do very soon. And then the moon is on mice as well. go and I think I have one more oh, yeah we'll feed the Guyana so a little dark up there to see but we'll give this one to her and she's a great eater she's 2017 is not growing at all, it seems. But she sheds, she eats well. I don't know what's going on with her. But when I first got her, uh, she was having issues with um, regurgitating. And anything that I gave her, she would regurgitate. And she got so skinny and so thin that you could see all of her bones. And I seriously thought she was gonna die. But I just started giving her itty bitty mice uh, and then she started eating and she kept keeping them down. So for the first six months of her life, she was eating very, very tiny meals, very, um, un uh, yeah, I guess underfed, but that was all she would keep down. So I don't know if her growth got stunned or what, but um, I mean, she's still alive and she's getting larger. And she's definitely hungry a lot. Like she's already, looks like she's trying to, trying to eat it. But she's a gorgeous snake. I'm glad, definitely glad she's, she survived and, and seems like she's thriving. So I'll cut out real quick um, and then we'll feed the anaconda and the Burmese. All right, Mountain Dew is definitely all ready for her food. Look at that, perfect. So it's really interesting, and I have people that ask me that get anacondas, um, like how do you swap them over to rats? And it's like, both of mine would not touch a rat. Like Mountain, or Pop-Tart would not eat a rat for six months, and then she just randomly ate one. And Mountain Dew right here has been over a year and she just randomly ate one as well. So it's like, you just have to be patient with them. Um, I, I was going to attempt to give her a small bird and then follow it up right behind with a rat so she could have the taste of the rat, but that didn't work because um, when I was trying to do that, I mean, like I said, it was totally random. Like she did not want, um, the the quail and then i just kind of gave her put a rat in front of her and then she just instantly ate it so they're very weird they're extremely picky when they're babies um, i've heard even some adults are very picky some don't want to go from rats to rabbits uh, and then that can be a little bit of an issue feeding because then you have to feed multiple rats within a week or a month but you know it's it's just it is what it is and we have to kind of accommodate our lives to theirs and then we have to feed them what they like on their terms so you might hear a bunch of scratching i got a bunch of wrap ups in a box behind these lids and then after this video i have to go around and feed all of the baby uh ball pythons and i think i might put a couple of the smaller ball pythons even though they're still small they're big enough. I think I'm going to put them in the ARS rack just to free up some room. I have two 2021 ball pythons in here and they eat every week. So the tub size is, is obviously not an issue for them. They feel content in there. They have the heat. They got enough humidity. So we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, we're feeding the, these, uh, the Burmese. So I know this might be a, uh, I guess that might look kind of frozenish. <laughs> I don't know, I'm still trying to figure out why people think I'm feeding them frozen. So this might be a little 
small of a meal, but if it doesn't leave a lump or if she's acting like she's still hungry, um, I'll just, you know, in, in a week or in a four or five days, I, I might just give her another one. But there we go. Yeah, that's that's actually not a bad size. I think that's a pretty good size for her. Could go a little bit larger, but it is a small it's a small rat, so nothing ridiculous. And we'll see. Well, she's gonna eat it, but we'll 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 watch her eat it. So it's it's nice to see the animals growing and and changing up the food and getting up on bigger prey items because. They're growing and uh, they're staying healthy and that's all that matters. So we'll check out some of these boas in here. The Guyana is done with hers. She was definitely hungry. The Moon Glow is almost done with hers. So the one thing that I'm not going to say I like or don't like, but the Moon Glows and the Snows, since they're pretty much a yellowy whitish color uh, they get stained with blood pretty easily so if you guys you know some people do have an issue with that well she's still just trying to figure out what's going on IMG is eating slowly but is happening I love the colors on her the patterns are phenomenal and I like the line down the center of her body so we'll let her finish that. VPI jungle. She looks, this is a gorgeous snake, but she just looks ugly on Aspen. Now if she was on RepTiChip, her colors would pop on her and she would look phenomenal. Still trying to eat. Did we already look at, no we didn't. So almost done. And then after they eat, I do come back. So it is nighttime now. She's done. Uh, I will come back in the morning to check on everybody to make sure they ate, they didn't regurgitate, they didn't leave the animal out. Uh, VPI Aztec is trying to figure out what to do. So that is it. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys liked watching them eat and grow. Um, and that's, that's it. I'll see you guys on the next video.